The Ghana Railway Workers Union says it will not resume work until its grievances are addressed. The workers are protesting non-payment of three-month salary arrears and SNIT contributions. Angry workers of a Ghana Railway company on Thursday pay all of them. The company's coaches and vehicles were all grounded. On Friday, only executives of the workers' union came to the premises but refused to undertake any official duties, although offices were opened. The executives said 900,000 cities' monthly salaries and Senate contributions from the finance ministry has not been forthcoming since January this year. This, they explained, has compelled the company to exhaust its internally generated funds on settling salary areas from January to June this year. We'll be here so long as the uh, release does not come. Some meetings are going on to address the issue. So we are just waiting for a formal the uh, invitation to tell us whatever that is happening. General Secretary of the Ghana Railways Union, Goodwill in Tama, indicated that government inability to support salary payment is inflicting hardship on staff. Senate contributions, second tier pension contributions and some other contributions have not been paid fully by the management because of the low revenue base. And so with that, the support being released, it was very difficult for management to pay July, August, and moving on salaries. The strike has paved way for traders at the Cantamanta market who have taken undue advantage of the strike to do business on the rail lines.